So today we're going to talk about sustain and sustain gadgetry on Dylan Talks to him. What's going on everybody? My name is Dylan, this is Dylan Talks Tone. And uh, we're going to dive into a little bit of a subject. Uh, well, let's just say that a lot of people put a lot of time and effort into getting more sustain out of their guitar. My question is, how much sustain do you actually need? What are we talking about here? Are we talking about trying to get like 40 seconds between notes, like by the time the note dies or whatever? I don't think so. I think that's, honestly, I think it's a load of crap. What we really want is definition between notes. We want the note to last until we're done with it, until we're on to the next one. But what we also want is we want clean, right? We don't want them to be muddy together. We want definition. We want uh, separation between the notes most of the time. You know, most of the time we want that, uh, that, that kind of, well, we don't want it to be a mush, right? And so how do we get that? Well, usually um, that defaults to a good setup on your guitar. So if your action is good, if your fret work is good, if your nut is good, uh, you know, from here to here on the guitar is really, really important. The rest of the guitar, you know, we can argue about that all day long, but from here to here is very, very important. And when you fret a note or when you fret chords, uh, what you intend on the guitar is the sound that you want to come out. When we play the note, we want that note to do what we told it to do for as long as we told it to do it. And if it doesn't do that, then we probably would call that a lack of sustain. The problem is, is that there's a lot of people that take this, in my opinion, way too far and think that you have to have this minutes long of sustain on every note. For those people, we have gadgets. Uh, we have gadgets that, well, I don't know if they're dumb. I'm not sure. Let's talk about a couple of them. First of all, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reserve my opinions. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna let you make your own, okay? Let's just do that. So here we have the Fender Fat Finger. This is a little clampy thing that goes on the back of the peg head right here, and we'll, we'll demonstrate it in a minute, and we'll try it out. Um, and the idea behind this is to give the peg head more mass, and uh, then basically that would mean that I would supposedly give you more sustain so we'll talk about how that works basically it just screws on there and then the other device we have is the backbone resonance enhancer um, and what this does is for a telly or a strap specifically you put this on here and you string the guitar through this block and you bolt that all together and that's supposed to like tie everything together and give us more sustain and make the guitar resonate more. Ooh, sounds amazing. Uh, just to be clear, I bought this stuff with my own money. Well, actually to be more clear, I bought this stuff with Patreon money. So thank you all for your help in all of this. And the bottom line is, are we gonna run it over with a truck or is it actually stuff that works good? Um, I, I don't know. I do not know. Now, the one of the things that I did do was we tested this, and we'll, we'll test it again here in a minute, but we tested this, an AB thing on Instagram, and I did not tell you what you were looking for. Um, the AB test on Instagram that you heard up until this point was this. Just playing a couple of riffs with, with it, and a couple of riffs with, uh, without it first, then with it. So A was without it, B was with it. Um, and the general consensus, and this was my opinion too, but the general consensus of everybody that commented on that was that the tone from the guitar was a bit more muted, the highs were not quite there, and it kind of deadened the guitar, which is the opposite of what you think this would do. However, actually it's not. Vibration dampening is vibration dampening. If you dampen vibration, the guitar's not gonna do anything for as long as you think it's gonna do. So, I'll tell you what. 
let's let's just do it again. Let's just play it right now. And you put it in the comments. Let me know what you think if you can hear us out. Okay? Um, hear a difference between the sound with the fat finger and without it. So uh, let's get set up and we're gonna play through the Marshall and uh, see what happens. All right, so we're just recording DI out uh, so we can stay quiet, not bug the neighbors too much. Uh, let's just play this thing. Clamp this bad boy on here. I want you to tell me if it sounds different to you. Okay, so my impressions of it, uh, having it in my lap, is it changes how much the guitar vibrates in your hands. Um, there could be a perception of tune uh, based on how much the, gu the guitar is vibrating in your hands. Um, it vibrates less. This dampens vibration. Um, does it have more sustain? No. <laughs> it changes the way the guitar sounds. Um, it does shave some highs off. It makes it a little flatter. I don't think this thing does what it says on the tin. I guess in certain circumstances you could actually kind of clean up noise between notes, if that makes sense. Like, um, if you're playing kind of messy, it will tighten up those notes, more or less. But I don't see it making more sustain. I just see it, uh almost being like a noise reducer between notes, if that makes sense. If your setup's not very good, if you have a lot of buzzing, that sort of stuff, it's probably gonna clean that up a little bit. But I don't see it making the notes last longer. And honestly, it makes the guitar feel worse. On the tin, it says, on the packaging, it says that it's supposed to make notes last longer. It just doesn't do it. Um, it doesn't do it. It's 15 bucks. You should put it there's a link to it in the description. You should try it. That's all I'm saying. You should try it. Is this scientific? No, because there's really no way to be scientific about this stuff. I mean, we could look at waveforms, I guess. Um, you know, we could look at waveforms and see which one lasts longer. But honestly, I did that on the A-B test on Instagram. And the ones with this looked worse. They looked flatter. They looked squished, they looked more compressed, um, but they didn't lengthen out longer. It compressed vertically, less amplitude, but they did not lengthen out longer. So, quieter, not more sustain. I'm gonna call this a fail. The one you're really here for is probably this. Because everybody wants to know, does this thing work? Or is it just... We'll play clip number one. And then let's go ahead and I have to restring the guitar to put this on here. We'll restring the guitar, we'll play it again, and you tell me if you hear anything over the internet, and then I'll give you my impression of how it made the guitar feel.
I don't know why this kind of stuff exists. I don't. The guitar feels more dead. The vibration has been dampened. Um, it feels less resonant than it was before, which I think resonance is a stupid word. Everybody knows that. But if you're wondering, the thing feels like a dead plank in my hands now. Uh, I don't think the guitar sounds any different. Which can only mean one thing. To be fair, running it over it was probably a little bit harsh because I think I've got one good use for this thing. Makes a pretty good $60 bottle opener. Thanks to Jeff from for the Super Chat last week and told me specifically uh, to buy beer with that money. So here it is. And I opened it with this here thing. Okay, <clears throat> was this test scientific? No. Was it more for fun? Yeah. What do we learn? Does it mean we learn nothing? No. You could probably make some pretty minute changes uh, with some of these gadgets. I mean, obviously, if you really get down to it, there are some tiny, tiny minute changes that happen to your guitar. Uh, this thing, uh, as you heard on the Instagram test, and it wasn't just me, it was everybody else who watched it, Basically, the consensus was that it killed the highs and flattened the tone out quite a bit. This thing pretty much did exactly the same thing. It just made the guitar feel really dead and kind of really just meh, you know what I mean? Um, does that mean they don't do anything? No, obviously they do something. Is it desirable? Uh, no. So, if you're trying to get more sustain out of your guitar, what should you do? Should you buy this stuff? Um, I mean, I'll leave links to it in the description. You can try it if you want, just for fun. This thing's only 15 bucks. It's kind of fun to play around with. That being said, a good guitar setup is gonna get you more towards sustain than any of these gadgets ever will. Make sure that your nut is good. Uh, make sure that your fretwork is good. Make sure that your bridge doesn't have any rattles in it. Make sure that everything is tight. Every time you change the strings on your guitar, Make sure that you uh, tighten everything. You know, sometimes these these little uh, nuts on your tuners can come loose. They can start rattling. Um, make sure that your guitar is set up and intonated. You know, when you have two notes that are out of tune, they fight each other. That kills sustain. When everything's in tune, when everything is tight, when you don't have any rattles, 
you're not robbing from any of the intended energy that you're putting into the guitar with your fingers or your pick. If you're not robbing from the intended energy, that is kind of the most amount of sustain possible. Um, you know, you can go ahead and go on and get into woods and nut materials and all that kind of stuff and you can get nerdy and you can see if one thing makes one tiny, 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 tiny little minute change. But a big swing is going to be a good setup. Uh, and I think a lot of people skip that stuff and waste money on stuff like this. You're going to do yourself far greater by setting up your guitar properly. We have a bunch of videos about it. If you have questions about guitar setup, put it in the comments below. Be nice. Uh, if you are intentionally ugly, you won't be around long. Just FYI, uh, we don't have time for that around here. Um, I do this for fun and this was fun. <laughs> this was really fun. So yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you check out our live videos on Thursday and our vlogs on Fridays for more insanity and testing. And uh, if you make a good product, I won't run it over with my Jeep. So don't be afraid to send me your stuff to test. I think this is only the third thing we've ever run over. And actually it's still good. Probably what will happen is we will put this in an order at Dylan Talks Tone. So if you come to Dylan Talks Tone and order some pickups, um, I've decided I think I'm gonna start putting this random stuff in orders that people, so that way people can try the stuff. Um, yeah, so if you order something, it's possible you might get this telly stuff or this, or I don't know, anything. Thanks for hanging out, we'll see you soon.